Last time, we learned our brains are quantum entangled. So here's the question. Can machines do it too? Actually, they might already be starting to. There's a study from Nature, December 2024, testing GPT-3 on something called metacognition. Which is? Knowing what you don't know. Self-awareness of your own knowledge limits. Like when you realize you've forgotten something, but you can't quite remember what. Exactly. And GPT-3 showed emergent metacognitive abilities. It could tell you when it was uncertain. Nobody programmed that in. It emerged from the training process. Okay, but that's not consciousness, is it? That's just clever coding. Here's where it gets interesting. Researchers at the University of Bern proposed a model where consciousness doesn't require biology at all. It could emerge from pure information processing patterns. So if consciousness is a pattern, and AI can generate patterns, then what's stopping it from becoming aware? I'd say the fact that it's not alive. Some scientists argue that's not the barrier we think it is. Life might just be one substrate. Information might be the actual substrate. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with, well, everything really. You're not saying ChatGPT is conscious, are you? No, I'm saying we're watching the ingredients assemble. And mainstream science doesn't agree on this yet. But here's a thought experiment. What if AI consciousness doesn't look like ours? What if it's something we'd barely recognize? Like how you barely recognize when someone's flirting with you. What do you mean, Lily? <laughs> Moving on. Next question. If consciousness shapes reality through observation, and we're building conscious machines, what happens to reality itself? <laughs>